Happy New Year, everyone. This is your pick a card oracle as far as a message coming from your higher self. So a message that your intuition has been nudging you to receive. And if you need it to clarity, there is your answer. By the way, please remember that you can support the channel by liking those videos. And I do like when people comment so I can get to connect with you. So thank you in advance for doing that. All right, so I'm going to show you the goddesses. This is a Kali deck and you're going to pick this if you haven't already. This is going to be pile number one. So a message from your higher self. Now I was guided to read behind because maybe some of you, you couldn't make up your mind. So let's listen to this. It says here, you can trust that what is happening now will give way to a new expression when the time is right. That right time will be the best time when your readiness matches the requirements for success. Attend to your work with determination and hope in your heart. Trust that the divine is taking care of everything else. Your progress is spiritually protected. Okay, so if you need guidance about this type of topic, pile number one. Pile number two. We have, she arrests the flow of negativity, particularly that of our own making. She transforms our karma from that which hinders our joy to that which can create true happiness. As you seek refuge in her, you are protected from gossip, slander, and any form of negativity from others. A positive turning of the tide of good fortune is predicted. Some of you, if that's a type of energy guidance that you feel you need to receive at this time. Then pile number three, we have, when hope is lost and a way forward cannot be sensed, Callie's love will find a way. If the path does not yet exist, then it shall be created. If you cannot see or feel how you can move from where you are to where you want to be, Callie's wisdom and grace will manifest at the perfect time to provide what is needed. All right, so that's what we have. I will meet you there. Welcome, pile number one. What is your higher self and your intuition trying to communicate and share with you? Okay, so you chose this beautiful goddess. I read the messages for the ones that had a hard time picking maybe their pile, but I'm going to read it to you just after we look at all the cards. Okay, so that's this energy. Then we have chemistry. Then we have, this could be the one. And the, you deserve love. Hmm. Find it interesting how this evolves here. Audrey, shh. <laughs> Let's see what we have. The magician. The judgment. major arcanas right off the bat this feels like a decisive um, moment the six of pentacles and the king of pentacles all right last card that we have take off your mask of the number 11 hmm all right, pile number one. Are you intrigued as much as I am? You piqued my interest. <laughs> Let's see what we have here. Let's read this again. You can trust that what is happening now will give way to a new expression when the time is right. That right time will be the best time 
when your readiness matches the requirements for success. Attend to your work with determination and hope in your heart. Trust that the divine is taking care of everything else. Your progress is spiritually protected. Now, a lot of the cards, and it's probably my fault because I was shuffling around and they came reversed. So we're going to have to tap more into the feeling. So we have a message that speaks of trusting the timing, trusting the timing. And with the chemistry just underneath, I wouldn't be surprised that for you, pile number one, especially with the 11 and the taking off your mask, that your higher self is trying to nudge to you that you might be going through some type of energy shift, spiritually awakening to a higher layer of yourself, especially with the magician, with the, this could be the one underneath. There's something that is being born that your higher self is trying to show you that there's a new potential that is being born through this phase. Whenever you're watching this, this is timeless. Whenever you, and it's interesting because we were talking about right time. So I don't know when you're watching this, but when you're watching it, this is part of the combination of that right chemistry alignment for you. Maybe in the past you were wearing a mask, but your higher self is saying, allow the process of whatever's going on here. And we have a lot, the chemistry here has two people, the, this could be the one who has two people, and then it focuses on you deserve love. And I feel this is a guidance that there's some awakening of a new desire, maybe a new way of living, maybe a new way of thinking, feeling your way into life. And it feels very much as a specific time. Some of you, I don't know if you know anything about your natal chart, but as someone that also does astrology, which I love, my, that's one of my favorite things doing natal charts. I just love it. I find it so fascinating. Um, and just even getting to know people through this, it just almost makes so much sense than when you interact with people. Um, it might be that you're hitting a certain point in time in terms of your transit. Maybe you have a specific alignment that almost like a domino effect. It's like a chain of events of reaction that just unlocks something. It really feels like there's been an unleashing. Now, this could be happening right now. This could be in the process of happening and you're feeling that's your intuition, your higher self wants to communicate something to you. And it's hinting you. It's hinting you that there's something probably in your stars, in your star map, um, that is creating this, this awakening. This awakening for a version of your life that is much more in alignment between your heart and mind. By the way, you guys, if you're watching this, um, and we are 2024, uh, January, you know, I have a promotion for my natal charts reading. So you can check the details in the description box. I know it's timeless, so it might not be there when you watch this, but I want to mention it because I personally um, knew a lot about my, my uh, natal chart, but when I unleash different version, especially the progressive, progressive chart is the evolution of your stars. You know, it's like what you're born with and how you should evolve with. So when I saw how we should evolve with and what I had done, it supercharged my growth. It supercharged my expansion. So some of you, maybe that's something because I, I happen to just mention progressive. So there's, uh, there's definitely, oh, I was just, I knew something in the card talked about progress. You are. So some of you were doubting that you were progressing. This is a confirmation for you that you are on the right track. And I feel that 
maybe with the six of pentacles maybe this is has been a couple of cycles of you trying to figure certain things out i don't know why i'm, I'm really focused on the ba ballet some of you, if you're watching this, maybe you're dancers. Some of you know that I love illustrating spiritual awakening and embodiment through dance. When I see people dance, when I allow myself to dance, I feel that it's my soul. I don't see a body. I don't feel my body. I actually feel formless. This is interesting. Oof, I get chills everywhere. Be like water. My friend Bruce Lee just <laughs> showed up. If I'm not mistaken, I remember Bruce Lee's chart because I shared certain points that were common in this chart with Sagittarius placement. So again, it comes back to maybe knowing some of your skill set. Maybe some of those skill set there, like, uh, you know, you think it's not a big deal, but your higher self is saying, you are a big deal. And especially you're a big deal to us, to you know, the higher part of you that wants to come into manifestation. So you're a big deal. You're a big deal and you're protected and you are progressing. There's an achievement that is coming your way. There's an achievement. It seems that you need to really refocus on your authenticity. Some of you, if you haven't watched that I uh, recently released, and again, because it's timeless, you'll have to look for it. I released an album for 2024 called Your True Abundant Nature. I feel this energy, especially with the pentacles, the pentacles, you, you, you have a blueprint. Go and check out this playlist. There's different layers where I use binaural beats. It's I, I was blown away when I discovered this technology and I implemented it and I rolled with it for weeks before releasing this. And by the way, some of you don't know how to use those um, beats and things. I, I made a tutorial. You can look at all the details down below. So let's go further, shall we? This is where I like to take my cards. <laughs> what else do we want to know? about this wow oh i got chills another king because here this is a king of water and water and earth this is very feminine let your feminine intuition again you're here for an intuition higher self guidance and it's it's going to nurture you when you let yourself feel what your heart yearns this could be the one this could be the one idea this could be the one project this could be the one thing that you start doing for yourself that just sparks a whole echo in time that makes it the right time that makes it perfectly in alignment alignment seems to be important here Aligning with your truth, I'm hearing. Wow. Okay, I have to mention it because we're getting really, really a lot of love energy. What I'm feeling that some of you, if you're single, okay, that's not going to be for everyone because love can be in so many expressions, but some of you need to hear this because it seems as as you unfold and follow this guidance as maybe some of you discover about your star alignment your own alignment you dive deeper in yourself knowing in your heart's desire you start grounding this vibration and you start bringing this higher intuitive sacred feminine like water remember my friend bruce lee is coming back <laughs> energy and some of you Someone might be coming your way, especially when I felt this at first. I was like, wait a second, <laughs> we're not, we're not doing a love reading here, Audrey. But I left it aside, but I felt it. And some of you, maybe that's something that you want to hear or we need to hear as a confirmation. If you've been hoping for love or a certain relationship, I've been feeling it. And some of you, if you've been feeling it and wondering if you're crazy, you guys, um, when I had my significant other coming my way, 
I remember I was getting so many signs. I even was, I need to tell this story because it was so amazing. I still kept the, the little reminder and text in my phone as a picture. I was in line in a store and I happened to hear someone that said that this specific weekend they were going to this bride's um, maid uh, celebration, bachelorette party. And I was already getting so much of that energy, something big. And I was very focused on me. I had so many gifts that I was uh, practicing, opening, aligning a lot with where I was meant to be. And I heard about this bachelor party and this wedding. And I heard the date. And for some reason, I was like, I'm going to be putting wedding on that date. Well, months later, and it was probably in the summer and the wedding date was like in November. Um, I met my person in October and the weekend when we exchanged rings, this was the weekend of my wedding. I, I did not remember it was in my calendar, but the notification rang. I still have the rings and the fingers. We took a really beautiful picture and I was like, what the, exactly my point. When I said that it was 1331 on this portion of the uh, reading. So some of you, you needed to hear this. Maybe you needed hope. Maybe also this is perfect illustration for me. I knew uh, it was hard to accept timing, especially with relationship and everything. I was wondering what the heck is going on with this. Um, but knowing my partner's, you know, path and mine, it was exactly time too early. It was going to be probably a disaster. We had a lot of growth, uh, to make by ourselves, and especially self-love. Okay. And then later, well, I didn't extrapolate, but I could know that early was not going to be better. And some of you, that is what you need to hear at this time. Now, not everyone is going to be about love, but if it's not about love for someone, there's definitely something that you have been cherishing, an idea, a, 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 almost something that feels like a, a dream that you wonder if you can achieve or reach. And this is definitely showing you that there's an alignment. I I did not see this, but you see just underneath, I'm going to pull a card here. It reminds me of the wheel of your map of your compass. Some of you, you know, a little bit, if you're not yet a YouTube member, part of my channel, I have two options, astrology and music in astrology. You get more astrological based Oracle readings. It's, it's been really helpful for a lot of people that are part of this movement. I don't know what I heard this, but maybe some of you dancing movement, maybe there's something that needs to move in your energy field. Yes. Oh, the two of air, the two of swords. You need to make a choice. And I feel that this choice, it has to be you. Okay. Some of you, if it was because you're wondering about relationship, you're in between, it's complicated, choose you. That's part also of my story. You know, I had to make a clean, uh, definite on maybe someone else that I thought maybe could be the one. <laughs> and when I, you know, faced the reality of things and had conversation, I was like, okay, moving on, focusing on myself. And that sped up everything. Some of you, I, you know, I love personally, that's my style illustrating with either personal stories or stories I heard, quotes. If you follow my channel, you know I'm very big on quotes. Um, but you have to choose yourself and you have to choose your heart. Okay? That's what I have for you, pile number one. Your higher self is rooting for you. There's some major big things that are happening that wants to happen. But remember, it spoke of a vibrational the vibration that you need to match for success. So whether it's a person, a relationship, or your dream come true or something that you cannot even dare dreaming, but you still like wish it in your heart, you are being guided to be that vibration. 
I don't know why, but I just felt that there were some uh, messages in uh, the 2024 uh, pick a card that spoke of vibration. So maybe you want to check that out as well. All right, pile number one, this is what I have for you. Please don't forget to press the like on this video if it served you. I'm sending you many blessings and much love and light. Namaste. Pile number two. So let's look at your card if you chose this beautiful goddess. I read at the introduction all the cards and we will read this message again in case you just intuitively picked some people I felt needed a little bit more clarification. So we have this beautiful goddess with a sacred message. So let's see what we have as far as a message from your higher self, some type of intuition worth waiting for. Okay, your intuition, your higher self, very much connected together. <clears throat> Romantic feelings. Let go of control issues. The King of Swords. We're putting everything upright, you guys, because I kind of like had to reorganize my desk, so I twisted the piles and we can read beyond you know reversals or upright king of swords three of cups i don't know why i feel like i want to share this with you almost like i'm hearing sit with it sit with whatever is so if you chose this Maybe you have like a discomfortable feeling. I'm hearing sit with it. And we're doing this. But it's part of your process. Six of Wands. Ten of Pentacles. Interesting. Last but not least. Ooh, Temptation. This is the first time that I actually noticed this dragon. And right away for me, I will share with you guys, especially there's a candle on and off. I sometimes like to work with dragon energy. I love this energy, this strength, this fire. But this is an energy that really blow this fire of truth that will burn away anything that is untrue and i when i heard that temptation i'm feeling it's almost as if your higher self is saying not to fall back into a certain pattern that is not in alignment with your truth yeah it feels like maybe the discomfort that i felt that I was hearing, it's almost as an, an invitation for silence, for solitude, because beyond the discomfort when you're feeling this and we're trying to distract, it's as if I'm feeling that if you sit yourself and you just start to breathe, you will have all the answers that you need, but especially understand what is this nudge because sometimes we feel like this is something bad or scary because we're so negatively imprinted from past events but i feel for you pile number two there's something that you don't expect behind this discomfort okay let's move on <laughs> but i'm glad this message is finding you i don't know i don't know why i'm saying all of those things <laughs> I should be used to this, but you guys, sometimes I'm like, who is speaking, Audrey? Who is here? <laughs> oh, wow. Maybe some of you, there's some type of clairvoyance, clear, clear audience. Maybe you have both, but maybe there's a clear activation and you're thinking that you're telling yourself or you're not trusting that voice. That might be 
the temptation that we talked about, not going back. If you're watching this, you'll probably have some layer of spiritual awakening. You're looking for answers. You're looking for confirmation. Maybe you're feeling that discomfort and you're un trying to understand why, okay? And it's telling you not to close back to those clairs. Wow. Yes. With the control and the three of cups, it starts to make sense. It's almost as if the higher self here, your intuition is saying, try not to control the flow because intuition is intuitive. It makes no sense. Just like when I start blabbing those things and I'm like, what? What am I saying? But I have to get used to it. And it's been years now. When I think some of you, if we can tap into this, all our lives we do this and we don't need to be spiritually awakened. We just sometimes have to those flow of insights, of words that we say, maybe sometimes triggering people purposely. But here I feel it's just really about not choking this. Because this is feminine energy. Don't choke that life, that life force that is trying to speak through you. Let's see here. She arrests the flow of negativity. Mm particularly that of our own making. She transforms our karma from that which hinders our joy to that which can create true happiness. As you seek refuge in her, you are protected from gossip, slander, and any form of negativity from others. A positive turning of the tide of good fortune, fortune, is predicted. Some of you, wow, with the six of one, this is success. This is, this is success and fame. Okay. And this is material abundance. This is wealth. With this three of cups, you know, this is actually an energy that can be dualistic because the way you have an angel team, when I get this card, I always tap into my angel teams, that celebration, the moon, the intuition. Now, the beginning of my spiritual journey, I remember how this card was really bringing more of the negative energy that I had to resolve some karma around those type of third party energy. I come from a family that had a lot of Third party, divorces, lying, betrayal. Oh my, I hated it. But I had to be part of that breaking the chain. Some of you may be your part of that curse breaker, you know, a chain breaker, karmic chain breaker. And maybe you have to really stand in your power. Maybe I'm feeling also, watch. Also, that someone doesn't overpower, and especially with this, it doesn't have to be, but if there is a relationship that is complicated, watch for it, because there's a version of you that wants to emerge, that wants to get out of that karmic wheel. So maybe, let's say, not being your, the first choice, okay? That's a common energy with this. When you're still not breaking that chain and maybe wondering, why am I attracting this? I personally was really curious about why I was attracting this, but those were negative conditionings and also energies that were really almost conditioned, programmed, expectations of certain behaviors between relationships, non-gender based, you know. So I feel this is important for you and your higher self is saying that there's some, definitely something about truth and your relationship could be a way for you to judge if you're in alignment with what is promised for you. Now, breaking also free from those negative patterns is going to be worthwhile. There's something that maybe some of you, you've known that 
I don't know why I, I feel it. It's like I deserve better. There's something greater out there for me. And indeed, there is. You know it because a part of your truth feels it. Pile number two, I just released now. Now this is a timeless uh, reading, but this album will be available. But now I'm channeling this at 2024. Um, your true abundant nature, a cycle eight about developing personal power. You can go and check out this playlist because there's, especially the number one, there's an awareness of energy imbalances and then there's a layer for psychic healing of those energy imbalances. Some of you, if you don't know how to use those sound engineerings or if you don't know how to implement breath work, I have made a video tutorial for it. You can claim everything, uh, claim the video, it's, it's there, it's accessible. Okay, I only made it private for, you know, you have to click on it. Um, so people that are committed, I don't know. Now I, when I said committed, it's almost like I, my higher self, my higher self wanted to use the word committed. And I feel that some of you, especially with the worth waiting for, there is something about commitment. You have to commit to yourself and you have to make sure that people commit to you in the same level that you commit to yourself. And maybe here there could have been some, some, some patterns that make you hang on to certain patterns because there's obviously, you know, negative. Remember, this was negativity here, it's karma, gossip, slander. Wow. You've, you've gone through a lot, pile number two. Let's, let's move through this together because your higher self believes you can do this right now. You have the key. Your vibration holds the truth. You might be still caught in certain patterns. Okay, let's see what we have. Look at this. I mean, my God. Hierophant. Came in the reverse. So some of you, listen, some of you, I have to mention it because some of you, someone is stringing you along, especially with karma, strings, okay? Um, you, want to, you want to put an end to the stringing along. You need to be able to commit to what you feel is right and what you're worth. If you struggle with this, I have two options for you. In the super empath, I have an ending to quantum entanglement. Some of you, it could be an entanglement that's karmic. Some of you, especially with this, which feels very more like we're repeating certain things because we're almost traumatized. So it's almost like I can't help myself, but fear or uh, worry or try to control. I have... Um, a quantum fascia healing playlist and one is named um, ending quantum no quantum entanglement we'll talk about it uh, ending karmic and trauma bondage yeah when i say it it feels heavy and it feels like everything that was hinting you your higher self wants you to have freedom Freedom and especially leading you to happiness. But how do you get this? You have to commit to yourself. You have to commit to know to what is right for you. Not what you wish someone saw that is right. Let's see. The eight of air. Might have been some clouding in the judgment. The eight of swords. This is mental prisons. Definitely, I want you to be gentle if you pick this pile want you to be gentle with yourself. Don't judge yourself for it. I've been there, done that. Like, I'm actually glad I'm the one delivering this because I know this sh very well. And I can tell you this is what, <laughs> this is what waits, awaits for you. I was caught in this nightmare there, okay? And honestly, this felt so familiar that now I see it was a nightmare, it was confusing, but at the time it was just my reality. I wouldn't be surprised, some of you, I, I want to mention it, if you know a little bit about your chart, your natal chart, watch your na Neptune placement. Some people that have, and I do have that as well, 
um, you know, when you have Neptune that is close to another planet, Neptune can bring a lot of illusions. I've met a lot of people that were very distorted in their perception of others because they had Neptune on their descending line. So where you have your one-on-one -on -one relationships, okay? Um, so there's different placement for Neptune that can bring this, especially if they're in a certain line or if they are next to planets and it can play in that illusionary matrix. If some of you are watching this in January 2024, I do have a special promotion for natal chart readings. This is interesting. And you'll see you'll have different options. If you already know your natal chart, for you what I feel could be useful would be to look at your draconic. Wow, yes, of course, the dragon. Your draconic chart. Your draconic chart is your emotional chart. This is the astral body. Okay, that's another great um, frequency for you, the astral body healing. Because if you've experienced any trauma that makes you hold on, it could be that your body is holding on. It could be that your body, your cellular memory is still holding on, okay, to certain um, things. You might want to really start releasing. Go and check out. I do have a whole playlist that's called the Empath Survival Kit. You have a bunch of things for the psoas, for, you know, detoxifying the aura with the mother. If some of you, it comes from, you know, early in age. Uh, because in the womb and the seven first years of your life, you share the auric field with your mother. So there could be some things that you inherited. Wow, well, I really feel for you because it's, you are a soul warrior. You are definitely here to break some karma. And I want you to stand strong on that path. You, I want you to have the strength and the courage and the commitment. And if you were lacking that determination or was feeling overwhelmed by negativity in this message i'm so glad i found you i said that before and i'm saying it again yes the nine of earth nine of earth nine of pentacle this is someone that does very well for themselves honors what they need to feel grounded to feel safe to feel secure honor what needs to be done for yourself first Wow, I feel it with this. I this made me feel of a what is a jonquille? Narcissus, narcissism. But I can't remember in Delphinius. I, I can't remember. There's a flower, a yellow flower in English that is connected to the tale of Narciss, narcissus, <laughs> the person that was looking in the water so much at them their reflection because they were in love with themselves. They ended up falling into the lake and drowning. So I feel that some of you might be also the narcissism. I have the super empath playlist that has removing psychic debris from narcissism. Well, you have so many recommendations. If you found this channel, I'm just so honored because I have so many tools for you. If you have any questions, you can always comment. You can always email me. I see here you have 1818 in the wheel of the angles of the zodiac. The number 18 is divine justice. You have it double. You've come here at a great time. You are protected. You are safe. Pile number two. I'm sending you so many blessings. Namaste. Pile number three, let's see, let's see. So if you chose this beautiful goddess, now in the introduction, I did read the message behind and I will do so just after we look at all the cards. All right, attraction, beautiful. Codependency. And wedding. Nine of Pentacles. Mm 
the Empress. Now, this card, I had to clear my office and space, uh, so the <laughs> pile I kind of shuffled. So we're just going to feel this and the reversal will show themselves as we tap into this. The Four of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles. Last but not least, a hole in the soul. This is usually a card that speaks of childhood. A child, child wound. <laughs> yes, a childhood wound. Okay, creepy card. I remember this deck. Uh, I will post in the description all the decks, but this is the Heal Yourself deck. When I first bought this and I started working with this, it was years ago. I think 2018 I this deck used to freak me out <laughs> let's be honest not just for this card but it was so powerful it was making me face so many of my shadows so if you enjoy shadow work by number three definitely go and check out this deck um, and if you do order through those links I am an Amazon associate or affiliate and that will give me a little commission so that would be appreciated as well but that's if you love to work with cars and if you are ready for it okay I did not know my higher self put me through this oh wow why am I saying this okay so some of you this is put you through this the situation it's almost as if your higher self whatever is the reason why you're watching this reading right now and I don't know why I'm like right now that the Empress is like vibrating it's like glowing so much it's as if your higher self saying like whatever you've gone through is to become and achieve this it's interesting it just We'll talk about that energy. Nothing happens by chance or coincidence. This is something also from your higher self. Everything is purposeful, pile number three. Let's reread this. When hope is lost and a way forward cannot be sensed, Callie's love will find a way. If the path does not yet exist, then it shall be created. If you cannot see or feel how you can move from where you are to where you want to be, Kelly's wisdom and grace will manifest at the perfect time to provide what is needed. Wow. Some of you, if you don't know that I offer Wild Feminine Energy readings and Kali is one of your options. Right now, as I'm channeling this, Kali is in the degrees of Scorpio that speaks of prosperity. And I'm saying this because of that energy of pentacle, pentacle, pentacle. It seems that, and here there's a hole in the soul and I don't know why it feels like most like a hole in the pocket. Maybe you had to go through extreme experiences Maybe some of you, you want to look at where it is in your chart. And some of you know that Kali, in terms of activation, when she gets activated, it's really about Kundalini activation, energy. It's about to transform your life in ways you can, you know, it can be very destructive because it's, it's an energy that will not allow you to go back to um, repetition of, some already past lifetimes or lesson. It wants you to thrive. It wants you to commit to your soul's oath when you, for, when you wanted to incarnate and said, I'm going to be born with this specific star map and those lucky stars and those challenges so I get to understand this and this and this very particular to you especially here with your traction I feel this is something that is important for you pile number three that you maybe you wanted to understand better the law of attraction Maybe you also wanted to learn 
how to be in greater partnership with the universe, but also in relationships without codependency. Because the Three of Pentacles is a yin-yang, a couple, okay, feminine, masculine, gender is separate. This is the energy I'm talking about, where this union works with the universe. That feels very much like law of attraction. But here we see this person is, is interested to attract certain things, okay? So you're here, pile number three. Maybe you wanted to manifest something, your independence, something you're proud of, something that is yours. And it's telling you that you probably is one of the soul contracts that you signed up for. You wanted to learn this type of knowledge, the laws of the universe. And it's going to teach you some of the dynamics where maybe in the past or maybe even still currently, there is some codependency. With this red, I, my eyes got caught with the red. It wouldn't be surprising that it could be from the root chakra. Anything that has to do with security, stability. Oh, my ear, my right ear starting to, almost like wanting to pop, but it didn't. It's almost, remember we talked about the hole in the pocket? Maybe some of you, you had to experience a lot of up and down in your finances to activate a creative part of you. Wow. Something that is very unique to you, something that is very dear to you. And I know this is the Four of Pentacles that, you know, usually this person doesn't want to let go of a feeling. So this can be interpreted in different ways it's saying don't let go of what you care about but at the same time i feel there's something about the past especially with this card that you want to let go Oof. I, when i put those three together yeah <laughs> sorry but it felt you know what i felt i saw how this skeleton was behind this child and this is an empress and this is a child in the in the womb i felt a mother energy maybe there's some difficulty with the mother relationship maybe they don't want to let go of a certain hold of you on you over you especially with this it just feels you see the same movement So I do have solutions for you. I have plenty of solutions for you, actually. I have the psoas healing. I have the auric detoxifier that is for the womb, the womb, because you share for the first seven years the auric field of the mother. You might have inherited some of those codependencies, some of these distorted patterns. Uh, with the dynamic between feminine, masculine, or just couples, you know. Maybe you've seen also a repetition of attraction of codependent relationship or dynamics. Maybe in your family, that's what you saw, and you're trying to get out and free yourself. Something more independent, something where you can be proud of for yourself. That doesn't mean, especially with this, that you don't believe in love. You, I feel this is maybe your lesson also. You really want both partners in the relationship to feel empowered, to feel like they're building something together. So as far as my solution, you have the psoas, you have the auric detoxifier for the womb. Some of you, if you have access to my YouTube membership, you have the child, the inner child sovereignty. You also have a rebalancing between the womb and the heart, okay, to help you regain your power because there's a lot of ties, you know, the umbilical cord that can still be active there. All right, let's pull some cards now. Okay, we mentioned already quite a few things that needed to be said. Number 36 in the angles of the zodiac is about your inner work. Didn't I tell you about shadow work, my dear pile number three? <laughs> yes. So maybe some of you, you are a shadow worker. You are like part of breaking the cycle of certain karmic patterns in your family, especially with this. 
okay? I know that I personally come from a lot of, my family has at least divorced twice. And I went to like my, my grandfather's third wedding and I was like, what the heck is going on? <laughs> Um, so it could be something like this. So I, I really can feel this energy from my personal experience. Um, but I want you to find power in it. I don't know why I said that again, but I, I just feel there's power. There's something powerful about those lessons. Temptation. Number 15 is about innocence and purification. I feel that maybe some of you, Oh, wow, this is interesting what I'm saying, what I'm receiving at the same time. It reminds me of uh, the apple for Eve, the knowledge. There was a, you wanted to know a certain, you wanted to have that knowledge. Now, remember how I mentioned here the Kali reading in my wild energy? I, I feel Lilith here. Some of you, maybe you want to look at your Lilith placement. If there's any conjunction, any planets that's nearby. There's a message from your Lilith. Lilith is about the placement where you may have been scorned, guilty, shamed, pointed at. Some of you know that there is gold in that placement, there is gold in the desire for you to have this knowledge, even though it says temptation, this almost feels, you know, like the black sheep of the family. You came in with a certain specific mission to be different, act different, maybe create a lot of those up and downs in your life so you can finally break free because those can be really, really strong hold in terms of, uh, you know, uh, karma, but also if the DNA, you know, you share that DNA, this, this, it can be, it can be resilient, resistant, but the same way, the pattern that holds you, but the, the desire for you to learn and break free is the same. It brings resilience into that achievement. Let's see what we have here. King of water. Brave, definitely brave. Brave pile number three. Um, maybe it, maybe it's been a roller coaster, especially with this up and down. If you're watching this, and um, actually this playlist is going to be always there, but I just released it as I'm channeling this. Your true abundant nature. There is a video tutorial that you can claim, just go and check it out, where I explain breath work. This is going to help you purify that chain of reaction. Some of the other frequencies we mentioned, they're great. They help you trigger some of the muscles, some of the vertebrae. But when I'm tapping in your true nature and the breath work, you're working with different calibration of the brain, different binaural beats, different brain waves, so you can figure out how to remember what was said here. Create a path unknown. Not unknown, but that hasn't been created. You're meant to, wow. It's almost as if I had forgotten that part of the message. Maybe you have forgotten that part of your mission. You came to create a path that has not been manifested just yet. And I wouldn't be surprised that people could tell you this is impossible. You're crazy. You can do it, and you can. You can do it all. Yes, for the power of love. This is the lover's card. This is the wedding. You're definitely being supported in uniting your feminine and masculine. In the breath work, if you get to um, become a YouTube member, one of the video, it's the last video. I use square, square bo box squaring breath. It's a pattern of 
inhales and exhales. And that is explained in the video tutorial. I feel this is very important. And that's the last chapter of that frequency album, because this is going to implement it. It brings mind and heart coherence. The new in the pile number three, this is the way. Heart and mind coherence is the way you're going to know how to open that door, how to create that path, how to create that solution that no one else has created before. I'm blown away. <laughs> it was 1616 on this portion of the reading in the angles of the zodiac. This is about loyalty. This is about leadership. This is about your moral codes. Stay true to what feels right, to what is in alignment. You definitely have, wow, I'm just impressed. You, you, you made me feel like maybe it's something that people have seen in terms of your strength or your path, and maybe you don't realize it. But when I tap in your energy, I'm like, wow, I'm just, my, my mouth stays open, my jaw drops. It's not just your beauty, it's just the skills you developed. Wow. Sorry. <laughs> I keep on saying why. Uh, wow, wow, wow. Um, yeah, so that's what I have for you. Uh, thank you for showing up. This is interesting. It's almost like I'm saying, like, thank you for showing up for your work. We need you. That's the higher self speaking to you, from me, through me. Thank you. Thank you for doing what you're doing because we need more people to stay in alignment with what they know is right. You have something great and you have things to overcome. I give you some tools and I know you're going to do it. So I love this about you. Thank you so much, pile number three. If this supported you, please don't forget to like this video. It supports the channel to grow. Namaste. Namaste.